Hello guys and welcome to race 4 of the ARCS Vizio Cup Series here at Las Vegas. So we got Charles Sanford on the pole today. Um, here's a big update. Um, Chris Grant and Alan Smith, um, I forgot his username of the driver, but he did not comment on race 1 and race 3 as of this uh, recording. So if you do not comment on race 3 or this race, you will be replaced. I'm sorry. Um, please message me if you're not going to be on. If you can't comment, I would let you know of that. Um, I know Stephen Paul III, uh, he will not be on for quite a while. So, I mean, I'm giving him the not, uh, not applicable. So I'm kind of giving him the, um, the chance to... Oh. Well, Henry Nova um, had a uh, broken down car and the start of the race so your outside pole sitter not start the race in second but anyway as I was saying you cannot oh can we not have Chris Grant either where's 97 oh 97 I mean oh my bad my bad fail 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 but I'll say it after the green flag waves as we are ready to go racing here in Las Vegas. Here we go. Green flag is out here at Las Vegas. No, but as I was saying, um, you will be replaced. Uh, if you if you not, if you're not gonna be here, please tell me. I would like to know that ahead of time. But if you are gonna, be, if you are here and you're on YouTube and whatnot, um, and you're active, I'm sorry, I'm gonna replace you. I had to do that with Austin Ogo, and I didn't really want to do that to our, my own NRC member, but I kind of had to because he lacked the comment. He lacked the commenting, so he he faced the consequences of being replaced in his own in his own league. But. Nonetheless, uh, my point is, comment every three to five races. Uh, I gave Austin a little bit of a shot because I kept, uh, I messaged him saying, uh, please comment or you will face the consequences of getting replaced for three drivers. Chris Grant and Alan Smith on an, on the other account, I forgot, I totally forgot his name, I totally spaced it. But, sorry about that, I was drinking water. But, um, if he's not active, I mean, I'll check his YouTube, um, and see if he's been active for the past couple days. If he hasn't been active, I'll give him a shot. But, anyway, um, I'll put that everything in the description below, so go check that out if you need, if you need to, about the commenting rule and stuff. And you see right here, Rod Houston is your leader, Cody Lamas in second right now, fighting with Stephen Paul the third. As Rod's going to lead that lap, you see right there Dustin Ray in the 88 just moving to the inside just a little bit to get enough of uh, Cody Lamas to take the lead. Or, yeah, to take the lead. You know, like all of a sudden thirsty. It's weird. <laughs> Um, uh, Dustin Ray led that lap. <clears throat> Received some, oh, wow, a lot of 3Y racing here. We're going to probably see a wreck. Oh, there's teammates right there. Oh, he almost made contact with Brian James. Cody Lamas barely got the... Um, probably the right rear quarter panel of, um, uh, Brian James. Man, that was close. Oh, they're three by three. Back behind the leaders. Mark Johnson, your points leader. And, uh, Nicholas Guerrero, they're three wide snug once again. Oh, do we have a rank? They save it. Cody Lawless got ran up into the wall. Oh, man. That's going to split up the field. And will it keep the field?
field split up for a while since um, pit stops will be have to be made. And now the rest of this field is now um, spread apart. And oh, teammates again make contact. As it looked like Michael White led that lap. And uh, a quick update as well. Um, Henry Nova will not start the race. He had a clutch issue getting into first gear. That's a bad day on starting after starting second. Oh, he might, oh, Michael White might get turned coming off this turn. He didn't, luckily. Now we're going to have a three-wide battle for the lead here between Jeffrey Buckeye, Michael, or D Daniel Day, excuse me. I'm thinking of the, thinking of the watch check again. And, and it was Dustin Ray. Check through the rest of the field here. Like we said, everyone's kind of split up. Where Cody Lamas at? Oh, my God. Well towards the back, almost um in last right now. Wow. But Dustin Ray yet again leads. And they're still three wide. But we will see pit stops, like we said. We'll see pit stops. And uh, there's the 19 of James Shelley in second right now, fighting with Rod Houston. Rod actually came from last in the points into 33rd. So that's pretty good for him, getting a good run last week, getting a top five. Now your winner, Bob Johansson in the 27, where did he go? Oh, look at this, three wide in the back. There is Bob Johansson in the 25. See right there, he's trying to uh, catch back up to the lead pack, along with Charles Sanford, your pole sitter of this race. They're still running side by side all the way through the front. And you see everyone, like we said, starting to spread out back here. Cody Lamas is very, very slow. He's only going to get two points this um, this week. As since Henry Nova only got, um, or did not start the race. And here's Sean Galligan going for second. And Dustin Ray um, still leads. Because we might see Sean Galligan actually take the lead here. Oh, and he's going to go to the high side. He might still get the run going into turn number three. He doesn't. Tyler Rock actually got the run. And now we see Stephen Paul the third maybe go for second. He's not going to get it as Tyler Rock's going to block. But we still see Dustin Ray leading here at Las Vegas. Still no three wide just yet. When we get the pit stops, it'd be interesting to see who your leader will be. Depending on where they when they pit. Now can we see Bob Johansson get an um, back to back wins or could we see Zachary Robinson win? Where is he in that eight car? He's one of those guys towards the back. Um, we'll find out. Oh, we have a spin! Tyler Rock and Charles Sanford around. Caution is wave. Oh, big crash. Sean Gallagher involved. Ron Houston. Uh, look, Nicholas Guerrero, Raymond Fisher, and John McNamara. Uh, Ron Houston. We have another wreck. Look, at Cody Lomas is doing everything he can to get a avoiding the wreck and trying to get away from it. It's the ends of 27th. As well, I'll just show you guys what we'll have to show you guys what happened here. It's, wow, I have no idea what happened. We'll be right back. And we're back. So it looks like Tyler Rock just might have gotten loose, and he hits the wall. He's gonna come down on to Sean Gallagher and turn, um, get turned with Charles Sanford with him. So you see, uh, th I think this is where the second wreck occurs. We see Sean Gallagher get hit as he's gonna make beat a bang with um, Nicholas Guerrero and he's going to get turned and then you see Tyler Rock come up the racetrack hit Steve uh, 18 I don't know if it's Steve Paul or no it's Zach Warren excuse me and he just puts everyone ne um, above in the high side into the wall as everyone else tries to get through it and we have a wreck up here yes yeah, so there it is holy crap so we see Charles Sanford 
trying to um, pass everybody, and then he goes way too quick as he hits Henry Buckeye and uh, Mark Matthews and Brian James with nowhere to go. Same with May Shelley. Did we have a wreck up here? I don't think we did. No, we did not. And then one crosses the line here. Who will let him back? It was Dustin Ray still. Did we see pit stops though? No! No one is making pit stops. So we'll bring you back to the green flag here as we'll bring you a list of retirees and your top ten. And we're back. So retirees are May Shelley. That's it. And top 10 rundown, Dustin Ray, Alan Smith, Mark Johnson, Stephen Paul III, Brad Johnson, Brandon Griffiths, Olga Ogo, Harrison Buckeye, Zach Campbell, and Patrick Warren. So, uh, as I checked it before, we did not have any pit stops. This green flag is back out. We are underway once again here in Vegas. I'm already seeing some double five racing. You see Steve Pollard. Um, slow on the track right now. Where is he at? Where do you, oh, there's, uh, no, excuse me, Zach Warren. I'm totally sorry about that. So he is a lap down. On the low side, which is probably not a smart idea. As he has a slower car out on the track right now. And the heck, so the rest of these guys on the back, because they, uh, have damage to their car. And we see a new leader. We might see Brandon Griffiths. They're going to be side by side coming down the back stretch here down the Nellis straight away. As Brandon Griffiths going to get a point for leading a lap. Behind him is Harrison Buckeye. His season cannot get any worse right now as he is last in the points. And he's nine points behind. Uh, 40, uh, 40, or 41st. And then again, we see three wide. Michael White in the middle. Dylan Ogo next to him. They're beating, banging. They're making contact. And they go up the racetrack here. Three wide finish again. Now Dylan Ogo to the lead here. Still no caution, right? Nope, we're good. As who is, uh, looks like it's James Shelley in the, the 19, who's one of the slowest cars on the track right now. We see a lot of guys with damage. And then we see the leaders right here. Can Cody Amendola go two, um, two wins this season? As he won in Rockingham in race number two. And could he maybe even take the points late if he's a certain amount of spots ahead of Mark Johnson? He's, he's right next to him. See Alan Smith stuck in the middle right now, though, in a three-wide situation. And we're still with three wide once again. The 22 now of Robert Pollard is now in the middle. And they're catching up. Oh, never mind. Bob Johansson second now, but they are catching up to uh, James Shelley in the night. Or not, yeah, excuse me, the 19, who is a really slow car compared to these guys. About 20 miles an hour slower. Still no wrecking. Now we see still Dylan O go out in front. Patrick Warren has broken away, and he's going to go to the bottom and take second away from Bob Johansson in the 27. We see Alan Smith trying to keep his way up into the front. We see Jack Warren in the tail of this field trying to do everything he can to hold. Uh, maybe just to get a, try and get a top 20 finish as he's well below in the points. Dustin Ray go way to the bottom. I don't know what that was all about. And we still haven't seen pit stops, so I'm kind of um kind of anxious to see what's gonna happen here. As look at this, they're gonna catch the lap traffic of um of James Shelley right here, and it's gonna hold up Dylan Ogo big time. As it's gonna be Jeffrey Buckeye to the lead. Jeffrey Buckeye's going to take the lead, but Dylan Ogo tries to block Jerry Guerrero on the inside. It's not going to happen. As now, Jeffrey Buckeye is not your leader here in Las Vegas. He's holding up these guys in the back. Will they wreck? See, Cody Amendola go to the bottom. You get past them. 
Bob Johansson and Patrick Warren and Zach Campbell are stuck up there. So is Robert Pollard and Michael White. Still no wreck, but look at Jerry Guerrero go to the bottom. He's going to try and take the lead away from Jeffrey Buckeye. We got 12 to go here. They're catching up to live traffic as well, but they are just, at, maybe a little bit just as quick as them. So we see Vin, uh, Wesley Rock, who um, also isn't doing so good in the points. Maybe a good finish here in Vegas would be um, helpful. He's in second right now. Look at Zachary Robinson. Maybe he'll try and take the points lead as he's trying to go for second. Now they, the pack has uh, pretty much just caught back up to these guys. As they're still kind of spread out, uh, we saw some of these guys towards the front, such as Michael White and the rest of them. Uh, Bob Johansson we actually saw in the lead at one point. And almost Jeffrey Buckeye got turned by Dylan Ogo. But Buckeye is still racing hard. And uh, Jerry Guerrero is your leader. See Wesley Rock trying to go for it, the second place spot once again. As he's going to try and get the run off turn number two. As now Henry Buckeye is a slow car. See, we're taking a new uh, TV cam. As they are really catching up to Henry. As now Brandon Griffiths looks to try and take second from Wesley Rock. Is there three wide back here? Jack Warren was into the wall just now. He's going to lose a few positions. You see Alan Smith getting a huge run. They're going to be three wide coming off turn number four. And Jeffrey Buckeye, pretty experienced here in um, in these in these kind of cars, as he um, just gets a little bit of uh, Jack Warren in the 01. You see now they're holding up both sides, a high and low side of the racetrack, and. What are they going to do? Henry Buckeye just trying to hold himself onto the lead lap here. But it's not going to happen as Brandon Griffith is going to take the lead and he'll lead the lap. We got six or seven to go here. As Jerry Guerrero is falling back. I think Jerry should just go three wide and take the risk. But here we go. We might have a lead change here. Dustin Ray going to the bottom. Does he have enough? No, he doesn't. Br uh, Brandon is still um, holding to that lead right now. So we might see Zachary Robinson win this. He's up there in third. And is now... We see... Wow. Oh, Caution is out! I think. Never mind. Oh, yes it is! Holy crap! Big crash! They are racing back to the line, though. Is it going to be Dustin Ray or Brandon Griffiths? Brandon Griffiths. See, Rod Houston with big damage to his car. We'll bring you back and show you what happened. I brought up the caution when we come back. And we're back. So you see Mark Matthews, a slow car on the track, gets, um, gets turned, or turns Wesley Rock, which turns him in Dola, Bob Johansson with nowhere to go. He sees his Cody Amendola right there on his bump, or on his front bumper, but what happens up here? We saw Rod Houston in the two getting big damage. Oh! Zach, it starts out with Zach Campbell. See, Wesley Rock, hopefully he's okay. He's had two hard licks this season. Oh my god! Raven Fisher! Head on! Into Zach Campbell. We hope he is okay. Both Zach, Rod, and Raymond. Oh, man, hard hit. Bam, head on. And Steve, uh, Zach Warren, look at, look at that. Look how airborne he gets. Um, Raymond, look how airborne Raymond Fisher gets. He's going full speed right now because he's a slower car. He slows down. He thinks he can get away from it. But how fast does he hit up? 145 miles an hour on impact. Oh my! Oh my god! We'll actually take a cockpit view of that and see what what he saw. Um, now this is a series with no Hans devices since this is the 2013 season. 
man, that's a hard hit. Hopefully they are okay. Um, I think they will be transported to a local hospital immediately. See if, did Brian James get extra damage? Oh, we fast forward a little bit more. Well, we just got a little bit with Nicholas Guerrero. Man, they took hard hits. Rod Houston, hopefully all these guys are okay. All of them are going to be taken to a local hospital. Or actually, um, Raymond and Zach are be taken to, um, to, care, or to a local hospital. Um, University Medical Center. How fast was uh, Rod Houston going when he hit head on? 137 miles an hour. And Raymond gets airborne. So, um... Another caution comes out today. And, um... Let's see if there's pit stops. No pit stops. But the race is actually over! I just realized that failed. Or, or, or is it? We're gonna have a one-lap shootout here. In Las Vegas. So, here's a run out of your top ten. Brandon Griffiths, Dustin Ray, Zachary Robinson, Dylan Ogo, Joe Houston, Stephen Paul III, Olga Ogo, Daniel Day, Austin Ogo, and Michael White. And all the Ogos are in the top ten, so let's hope they stay there and maybe even get all top fives. So we'll find out. Here's the pace guard going to dive into pit road. And so we're going to see Brandon Griffiths leading him to the, um, the white flag. One lap shootout is group. White flag is out. Brandon Griffith's got a big jump, so he could probably take the win here. Just right now, Griffiths is 30th in points. This could really help him. So you see Dylan Ogo go for third here over Zachary Robinson. Couldn't Dustin Ray have enough? No lap traffic will be involved. It's just all out racing on the last lap. You see Dylan Ogo going for second now. He's going to try and go for second. He might even go for the lead here. Coming off turn number four. Come off turn four. It's going to be a final finish back to the line. It's going to be Brandon Griffiths, though. He wins here in Las Vegas by a final finish by a half a car length over Dylan Ogo. Wow. Dylan Ogo had a head of steam right there. Um, ending up second here by 32 thousandths of a second. Wow. That was insane. That was a crazy freaking race, man. See, Dylan Ogo almost forgot to turn left and go into pit, pit road. <sighs> oh my god, what a race that was. So next race, guys, is in Phoenix, and we'll see you guys there. Thank you guys for watching.